my friends, it's it's time for the fun panel. <laughs> I have lots of fun with this one. This is the back box uh, Mac panel. If you didn't recognize it, <laughs> you can see all of our score reels. Uh, in the last episode, we we finished off and cleaned up the the bottom bottom mech panel. That one, everything on it, it's all cleaned and ready to go. Ready to put in. Uh, now we have to do this one. The back panel. Now I got started without you. I went ahead and cleaned the cleaned this bank of relays here and switches until I got to the double zero to ninety unit. That one I figured somebody might want to see how that one's done on the Gottlieb and I flipped the this is the what are they calling it calling it the position FS relay ah, position FS relay the only thing I can think of that that one is is our uh, oh, brain fart um, player player selection unit and that's what switches it from one player to two player that's what I'm thinking the, the position relay is and we'll have to do our credit unit we'll get it all cleaned up and all of our score reels. Boy, well, fun doing those. I'll show you how to how I do a couple of them, and then I'll go ahead and clean them, and get the rest of them done. But uh, for right now, we're gonna we're gonna clean up this double zero to ninety, which is you might as well call it. It's the match unit, but they call it the double zero to ninety. And you can see it, it is not working. So it's all gummed up as well. So we'll have to get in, we'll get into it and get it all cleaned up. You can see how tarnished the contact plate is there. And there. So it's pretty ugly. But we'll get her cleaned up. Got some switches in there too. And it's just kind of stiff. It's got some dirt and probably some old dried out oil in it. And we'll soak her down with some contact cleaner and get it all dissolved and out of it. And get her working good. And then we have all of our Jones plugs. Uh, I think Gottlieb kind of figured uh, there might be a problem with this unit every now and then. Because they have it on Jones plugs. So you can take it out and, and and work on it or just replace it. So I'm kind of figuring that that's what they were hinting at, I guess you would say. But there's all kind of Jones plugs on this back. We have uh, two Jones plugs up here that are for uh, this bank of relays. You can pull the Jones plugs and... Uh, cut a couple of ties and you can pull that whole thing up out of there. Uh, this one is not. And then we have, oh yeah it is. Oh, that's my heater coming on. <laughs> I was wondering what the hell is going on. You can pull these two Jones plugs and pull your credit unit and your position positions relay out. So we got lots of Jones plugs and that's not good because that's always a weak spot and those are always dirty normally if something's not working at all first place to look are nasty Jones plugs they get funky so we got to clean all those up we got lots of Jones plugs to clean up and for the these are for the 
think coming up from the bottom, Mac. These two and that one, and then there's one coming off the play field that uh, hooks into here. And so I got a little, you know, they kind of do things a little different. So we'll get everything all cleaned up on this so it's ready to go back in. That way we can go ahead and goat head. We can put the bottom mech in the cabinet, uh, put the head unit on it and slide this one back in and then we can work on our work on the bottom of the play field and get it all done up and we'll be ready to plug it in and see what happens. See if we have to run for the border. We have a little mushroom cloud come up off of it or what. So I'll get you set up and we will work on the double zero to ninety unit. Okay, on our get you, there we go. Same thing, these are slotted so you can adjust them and I'm gonna make sure I put them back the same way I took them out or same way I took it off and then get on there who to need a little different screwdriver. That screwdriver was just a little too big. It wasn't getting down in there all the way. There we are. Because I definitely don't want to strip those out. and your little little contact has has a piece in the middle that fits right down over that little groove so you don't have to worry about not putting him on right a lot of green I'm seeing See a lot of green. You know what green is on this? That's corrosion on copper. Get him cleaned up. Again, this is thousand grit sandpaper I'm using, so don't anybody get all excited that I'm using too heavy of a sandpaper on it. Thousand grit will clean it up really nice and it won't remove a whole lot of material. Sandpaper is going to remove material, period, no matter what. But when they're this dirty, you got to remove some material. These little guys are brass out here on the end. Polish them up a little bit. right out of the way get 
just kind of doing all the cleaning all this stuff these contacts while I'm right here so I don't forget so I know they're done Okay, now I'm going to have to take the other side off as well, so I can get, get right down in there and clean, and get that all cleaned up. Same thing, I'm just going to, just going to mark it, so I know exactly where it goes back. Those retainers are both the same, so you don't have to worry about which side they came off of. Same with this little, this should be identical. Same with the little. are identical so you don't have to worry about which side those go back on get this guy up out of the way and get it cleaned up boy this side's really really bad Too bad. She cleaned up pretty good. Now I'll, I'm gonna let this kind of dry off a little bit. The, this contact cleaner evaporates after a bit, so I'll let it sit here and evaporate a little bit, and then then we can go ahead and put her back together. Kind of evaporated quite a bit. Now we can start getting her put back together.
And there's our double zero to 90 unit already. Put her back up in. I think I got a, I got one hairpin missing. I got to go find a hairpin. Ah, I got both of the stepper units done here. The uh, the credit unit and uh, position. Got it all cleaned up, and as you can see, got her a little bit of Wiener slide on the outside of it. Uh, the credit unit was uh, stuck, kind of hung up a little bit, and I just had to get her all cleaned up and adjust one spring on it, and now it's working like it should. Uh, this one, there wasn't a whole lot going on with it either, just cleaning the, the contact plate and all the switches on it. Uh, it it's working fine. So there was nothing really to show you except you know, now they work. Uh, like they were supposed to. That one. And that one. So now we got everything, all those done. All of our Relays are done. Our little double zero to ninety unit is uh, ready. These two are ready. Now it's time to work on our score reels. Oh goody! We got sixteen of them to to clean and put new sleeves in. And we'll get them all done. I'll show you how I do a couple of them, and then we'll then I'll just I'll finish them up. Okay, there's a little plastic tab right here. Then you just move him out of the way and the whole score unit will come up out of there. Now we have a little E-clip right here. I'll take him off. And there's a pressure washer. Now two screws holding the, the PCB, the contact plate, down. And your contact plate will come right up. And now we have our score reel. See, we have our little contact fingers here that contact with our with our board. Oh shoot. There we go. Kinda. Now and just pull him right up off of there. Now this little there's a little plastic spacer, kind of a keeper. It keeps our finger down on there. Now on these, in order for it to be timed, this top pin right here there's a little protrusion on your score reel and that's where that goes on just like line him up and he'll go right down on there always pointing at that little protrusion that keeps it in time that's how the, it knows it'll it'll go on other ways but on your score reel, there's a wee little itty bitty pin. You can see just a wee little titty sitting right there. And then there's a, a notch on this top finger. That way you always know that's how that goes on. That way you don't get it screwed up and you're out of time because if you try and put it on you're gonna bust that little that little titty off there now we'll clean up our score reel and take our ratchet paw off the ratchet paw there's gears all along the side here 
there's a rat gear there that's how it goes down on that way it can turn your score reel again so make sure when you put this down on your rat gear is facing this way all the way so start with your first tooth and your first tooth will go down in there on that first tooth to the first groove it's kind of a kind of a pain because you get, you'll have this spring but you get her set up just like so and then when you put your score reel back down on I'll show you here in a minute once we get some stuff cleaned up Now you can take this all apart if you want, but I'm not going to. We just need to get this cleaned up so it moves better. Uh, let's see, can we take our spring off? Now we got our spring off. Let's take our coil off. So I would like to get that gummy crap off of the. Oops, shit. Watch that little. There's another little spacer that goes down in there. I'll fish it out of there here in a sec. stop which is in good shape it's not all beat up now we can pull our coil off don't forget we have a pressure washer on these I call them pressure washer tension washer whatever you want to call them now see on our our piston here that pulls everything down in our coil just sits, has a, there's a notch on the plastic. So it sits down in there. I better not put that there. Okay. Now, see where you're at on your switches. And we should be able to slide this up out of there. There we go. And now you can see all the crud that we need to to clean up and smooth that out so because it rides on here this plate this plastic piece rides down on there back and forth so we definitely need to clean that up so it it's not hanging up okay I'm gonna turn you off for a minute while I hunt down my little plastic spacer I lost yeah I chased it around and I found it <laughs> it dropped down and rolled rolled underneath a little ways. <laughs> okay. Now back to what we were doing. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of my contact cleaner and get some of this funky old grease off of here. You can use whatever you want that will dissolve this old grease. No rust. Ok, 
just some old dried out grease. The rest of that is pitting. Okay, you can see how yeah, I got, got some of it off of it. It just, there's a lot of pitting there, which isn't going to hurt anything. Now, since I'm right here, get these leaf switches cleaned up these ones over here now I'm just putting a little bit of pressure down on them One more set down along the bottom. Open them up a little bit. There we go. All you're doing is polishing those switches. You don't want to take material off of them. Okay. Now let's get our contact plate cleaned up Same thing, you don't want to take off a whole bunch of material, you just want to at the moment we will leave that alone and we don't want any grease on it yet until we're ready to put it back together. And I'm just gonna Take a little bit of my dielectric grease. Get that all covered. Nice, nice and smooth. All right, now we can change our sleeve. Pretty long. Oh, got a long, got a long one in that bag. It's probably my fault. I probably dumped it in there. You probably seen it. That's better. 
Okay, now we'll take our, our spring. Good. Okay. Now what are we doing? <laughs> we'll put our our plunger back on there. Our coil stop. And flip that up out of the way for for the moment. Coil stop on there. I'll squeeze our coil stop up on as far as I can. And it takes care of... Uh, that helps with some vibrations as if you get them as tight as you can. There, sit there. Okay, the little washer that I, or spacer, that I chased has two little, has a notch here on the bottom, has two little feet, kind of. Those feet go down, which I should have put that on first. No. Fits right down on there. It's kind of discombobulated there for a second. I mean, those two feet fit right down inside this groove here, like so. All right, and now, what do you want to do? Let's see, we can put a, let's get our spring on here. And kind of line up our ratchet a little bit. Like I said, line those teeth up so it has travel. This will have some friction. So we will. Throw everything on the floor and we'll put a little bit right around it on the teeth. Now, 
I already went and I already cleaned this up. Remember, find that little protrusion and the arrow and that top pin is your arrow. Like so. Have our little spacer, keeper, whatever. Okay, now now I'll go ahead and and grease up the, the little grease on our contact plate. I'm gonna put a, just a little bit here on the on the shaft. You don't need a whole lot. Not lined up. I will put a little bit easier here and just put a little bit on that ratchet there. Move that little, little bit, so it'll fall down in there. There it goes. Now before I put that E-clip on, I'm, we'll test it, make sure it's okay. Okay, now we'll put our little clip on here, our pressure washer. Now, let's see if we got anywhere with it. All right, I'll just slip her right back down in. That's one. Only 15 more to go. Okay, I'll, I'll get busy. I'll do some of these. I'll probably bring you back later on while I'm doing these and do a time lapse of me doing one just for you know, the hell of it.
Well, folks, it's done. Ah, we got everything cleaned up on this back panel. Got all 16 score reels cleaned. All the all the switches cleaned in each one of them. All the contact plates, contacts, resleeved the coils, clean the score reels. Uh, a little bit of uh, grease here and there in strategic spots to keep it moving like it should. Cleaned up the Jones plugs, which there was just a few of them. <laughs> ah, got all, everything's done. All of our relays, stepper, that's the position stepper, the <clears throat> credit unit is done. We are officially done with this and ready to put it back in the box. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I think we're going to start assembling. And I think we'll do that in the next video. I think this one has been uh, long enough, I guess. We'll see when I edit. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. So until next time, where are you going? Come on, get up here. Score reels. See ya.